going on, Jerome, homies? It's a beautiful Friday afternoon, birds are chirping and stuff, and uh, some random Vikings injury news and a couple of updates. So, uh, Vikings uh, final injury report, uh, nothing really of note. So, Dean Lowry is out uh, with a groin injury. Hopefully, that means Jaqueline Roy season is upon us. Questionable, Asuma, uh, and then Jalen Speedy Naylor, who is still in the window to come back from uh, injured reserve. Uh, and Chris Reed is still in the window to come back from uh, NFI. Uh, KJ Osborne doesn't have any injury designation. Same thing with the Caleb Evans, and they're good to go uh, against the Falcons, which is fantastic news. Also, so the Vikings can get Justin Jefferson back after this week uh, in time for the Saints game, which would be phenomenal, which would be fantastic, especially since Lattimore is his son. It's his child. I, I love him, man. But uh, Kevin O'Connell uh, provides some updates. Kevin Seifert, who's not uh, Carl Gerbschmidt, go. Here's what Kevin O'Connell said about the possibility of Justin Jefferson and or Nick Mullins. Yeah. Uh, returning uh, to practice next week as they are eligible to do under IR rules. Quote, I do not have that information as of right now. I think we're going to have some end of week assessments and see where those guys are at. And we'll continue those on into next week. And when the, the time's right uh, to get those windows open up, uh, I will do that and get those guys back practicing again. And it could actually be a spot where JJ gets back to practice next week. They start his window, uh, but they still hold him out of the Saints game uh, just to make sure that hamstring is 100% completely possible, right? Uh, but JJ has been out a month, and hopefully that hamstring is going to get uh, going to be good to go. And, yeah, that's what's frustrating about hamstrings, especially when you're a high-end athlete like this, is that they have to be almost at 100%. Uh, otherwise, you risk uh, re-injuring it. Uh, but Vikings hopefully get a win against the Falcons. They're 3-0 without J.J. Addison is really stepping up and, to, and becoming a monster. K.J. has done well uh, as well. Uh, but hopefully the best non-quarterback in the league is back in purple uh, here quite soon. Uh, something that the Vikings won't see on Sunday uh, is uh, other star receiver Drake London, the pride of USC. Na -na 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 -na. Schefter, Falcons ruled out wide receiver Drake London for Sunday's game. Uh, versus the Vikings due to his groin injury. So basically, the Falcons wide receiver one in this game is Van Jefferson, or maybe Cordero, even though they use him as a running back. It's kind of crazy, man. Also crazy. Well, not crazy. I actually kind of like this. I feel like, you like that? That's an homage. Uh, ben Gessling, strip, go. Uh, Josh Dobbs will be active as the backup quarterback on Sunday, Kevin O'Connell said. Now, as of right now, uh, Jaron Hall and Josh Dobbs are the only two quarterbacks on the Vikings 53-man rooster. Uh, Nick Mullins obviously is still on IR. Sean Mannion is on the practice squad. Now, for the third quarterback, uh, third emergency quarterback rule, where you get an extra player uh, on top of the game day 46, all three quarterbacks have to be on the 53, so you can't just call up a guy from the practice squad and, and be like, oh, he's the third quarterback, or oh, he's the second quarterback, and the guy on the roster is the third quarterback. Can't, can't do that. So uh, I think this is a good plan. And frankly, Sean Mannion is only here because he's Kirk Cousins' buddy. And I, I think that uh, even though Dobbs has been uh, in the building for like two seconds, I, I like him as a fallback option versus bringing in someone else off the street or elevating Sean Mannion uh, at this moment in time. But it's Jaron Hall show, baby. Now is the start. I find the find the QB of a lifetime. Burn down, Tim. That's right, man. Uh, speaking of QBs, uh, before the Vikings uh, made the trade for Dobbs, there was some other names on the radar. So Vikings fan page compiled this. Uh, the Vikings kicked the tires and light the fires, baby. Woo! Uh, on several quarterbacks before the trade deadline, uh, before pulling the trigger on Josh Dobbs, uh, Darren Doogie Wolfson mentioned on Score North. Uh, some names mentioned were the likes of Jabroni Brisket from the Commies, John Wolford uh, of the Buccaneers, as well as Jameis Winston of the Saints. Ooh. Uh, Kyler and Mac Jones were not among the list of quarterbacks uh, Minnesota inquired on despite speculation. Yeah, Kyler, I mean, I'm sure Kyler came up in terms of the, the call between uh, Kwesi and uh, their GM, Mani Asifor. It's like, hey, we're looking for a quarterback. No, not that one. <laughs> uh, and then with uh, Mac Jones, eh, fair, fair. Uh, in, in terms of, uh, I think that the best option was Dobbs, especially in terms of the trade compensation. I, I think that he was the fantastic get. I mean, John Wolford did have some crossover with uh, O'Connell and Phillips with the Rams. And also it was uh, rumored that the Rams uh, had looked to add him to their 53 before he uh, was elevated and signed with the Buccaneers 53. Uh, and then Jabroni Brisket, uh, the commies. I mean, that makes sense, but I think he would have been the safest option. I, I do think Dobbs has a little bit more upside. Uh, and Jameis would have been the most hilarious, but also, I, I mean, Derek Carr is kind of ass, thank you. And the Saints still have playoff aspirations, and the Saints play the Vikings here next week. So, you know, trading for Jameis probably would have come at a premium, and I'm not about trading a third-round pick for Jameis. 
Ain't going to do that, man. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, but that's it. Uh, that's uh, Random Vikings News tidbits uh, for Friday afternoon, uh, November the 3rd. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Most support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But next time, Skull Production Value. <laughs>